Hey everyone, today I thought it would be interesting to create a meme add-on for every killer. They are some of the most fun add-ons in the game, that can change how you play, and some killers don't even have them. My goal with these was to either make them fun, or fun, but also nerf you in some way, with a possible reward for playing well. Let me know what you think, I'm gonna basically quick fire these. Let's get into it. Trapper's add-on is named Faulty Spring. Once every 10 seconds, one random trap will open, and one random trap will shut. The idea being that this will cause lots of chaos, with traps randomly opening and shutting, causing general madness on both sides. Wraith's add-on is named Charred Clapper. The wailing bell can only be heard within a 12 meter range when rung. After uncloaking, if a survivor is not damaged within 5 seconds, you are stunned for 5 seconds. Basically, you must be ultra stealthy and hit your shots, or you get a considerable slowdown. Hillbilly's add-on is named Kill Switch. After pressing the power button, you cannot stop revving your chainsaw. When entering a chainsaw sprint, you move at 150% the regular speed, but cannot move the direction of your chainsaw sprint. So this is like super fast arrow billy where you must move and attack in straight lines. Nurses is called Gas Mask. You begin the trial with 5 blinks. Blinks do not recharge automatically. Blink charges are obtained each time a survivor loses a health state. Basically, immersed nurse, where you must steal their breath for your blinks. Maya's add-on is called Clown Mask. Your vision is distorted significantly, but you fill your stalk meter twice as fast. This is inspired by the POV opening of Halloween, and I thought could just be a fun add-on, making the restrictive killer POV even more restricted. Hag's add-on is called Crushed Eggshell. When traps are laid, they will immediately reveal a phantasm which only leaves once the trap is triggered. The traps otherwise function the same. The idea here is that you can place lots of hags on the map to try and confuse the survivors, but your traps are also super obvious in their placement. Doctor's add-on is called Twisted Wires. You, as the killer, will randomly hear fake survivor screams, and see projections of yourself and pallets. The effects of madness are increased by 33% for survivors. Basically, this add-on makes you mad, as well as making the survivors a little more too. Huntress's is called Lucky Charm. This add-on reduces your available hatchets to one, like Eerie Head. When injuring a survivor with your hatchet, it returns to you. This is like a boomerang hatchet, where if you land your shot, you get the hatchet back. It could be a fun mini game. However, when you down a survivor, you don't get the hatchet back. This way we can stop pairings with eerie head and such. Bubba's add-on is called Faulty Chain. Your chainsaw will consume a random number of charges before jamming. Charges replenish 50% faster, and tantrums are 20% shorter. So this is like an RNG chainsaw, where you don't know how much distance you are going to get before it jams and stops working. Nightmare's add-on is named Ashen Remains. This add-on replaces dream snares with pallets, and grants one dream token. Every possible pallet spawn is filled with a pallet. 60% are real, 40% are fake. However, you cannot distinguish between them as the nightmare, and neither can the survivors. I like this one a lot. I think it would be so chaotic and fun. Also, the singular token only allowing one pallet to be replaced would make this even more interesting, I think. Pig's add-on is named Crushed Tricycle. You are forced into the crouch position until a survivor enters the dying state. Upon hooking, you are once again returned to the crouch position. Ambush attacks charge 50% faster, and your movement during them is 20% faster. I think that could be fun. <laughs> Clown's add-on is called Poorly Brewed Tonic. Pink bottles now affect you slowing and blurring your vision if you walk into their cloud. However, yellow bottles are now 50% more effective and durable. I just thought it would be funny if Clown could stun himself. Yeah. <laughs> Spirit's add-on is named Glass Shard. When injuring a survivor, your blade shatters, causing your post-hit cooldown to be twice as long. However, it inflicts the hemorrhage status onto the survivor and nearby survivors in a 16 meter radius. The idea here is like the blade shatters and all the pieces fly out and hit the survivors. The downside being the much longer cooldown, as like a lore reason. <laughs> 
Allegiance add-on is named Cleaner's Name Tag. When attacking in Feral Frenzy, apply a random effect onto survivors for 45 seconds. Possible effects. Deep Wound, Oblivious, Blindness, Mangled, Hindered, Haste, Exhausted, Incapacitated, or Nothing. You can only apply one effect at any given time. I just think this would be funny and kind of fun with the random applied effects, causing strange scenarios. Plague's add-on is called Shattered Seal. Every object on the map is permanently infected. You are no longer able to consume corruption from pools of devotion. Available pools are reduced by two. This one's interesting, I think, giving survivors lots of opportunity to cleanse, but also having everything infected. Maybe that's just dumb, I don't know. Ghostface's add-on is named Shattered Pendant. Whenever you enter Night Shroud, you and the Obsession can see each other permanently. I think this creates an interesting dynamic between Killer and Obsession, and could lead to some fun stare-offs. Demogorgon's add-on is called Dustin's Cap, your available portals are reduced by 4 to a maximum of 2. When entering a portal, you are no longer able to traverse the upside down. Instead, you simply crawl into the portal and wait. Survivors within 16 meters of the entered portal will be revealed with Killer Instinct. I think that one's kinda cute. The idea being that it's a good demo puppy that Dustin trained well. Oni's is called Shattered Kanabo Piece. This is like speed limiter for Oni. During Blood Fury, you run 10% faster and have a 10% faster charge up speed. However, your Demon Strike only damages for a single health state. Deathslinger's add on is named Old Wrench. The Redeemer no longer applies damage of any kind and you are no longer able to lunge with the bayonet whilst reeling. Survivors no longer gain a boost of speed from breaking the Redeemer's chain, gain a 50% faster recovery speed when the chain is broken. So this is like a passive slinger, where you can reel the survivors close, but only hit when they've been released but you get a bit of a helping hand with the stun reductions. Executioner's one I think is kind of interesting. It's called Barbed Wire. You are permanently inflicted with a 3% hindered status effect. However, when walking on Trails of Torment, gain a 5% haste effect. Blights is called Compound 6. Each time you rush, you run at a random speed and when entering a cooldown, you receive a random cooldown duration. Maximum speed can be an increase of 50%, minimum speed can be a decrease of 50%, or anything in between. This could be fun, I think. Twins 1 is called Scorched Fabric. Victor's movement speed and Pounce charge speed is reduced by 25%. When Victor is kicked, the survivor who kicked him has their aura revealed for 20 seconds, and Charlotte receives a 5% boost to movement speed. The idea for this is like baiting survivors to kick, only to get revenge as Charlotte. I think that's kind of fun. Trickster's add-on is called Adaptive Blade. You start the trial with 22 blades. Each time you land a hit, two blades are returned to you. This is like the Huntress one, and I think would take a lot of skill to use, but could be fun too. Nemesis's add-on is called Burnt Tentacle. Whilst holding out Nemesis's tentacle, gain the hindered status. If you miss your tentacle attack, gain the incapacitated status for 10 seconds. Successfully landing a tentacle hit will grant you with a 5% haste status for 10 seconds. Basically, high reward for successful hits, but a large punishment for failed swings, as well as restricted movement. Cenobites is named Rotten Tooth. When survivors solve the box, you receive a 3% hindered status for 60 seconds. If you solve the box, gain a 3% haste status for 60 seconds. Of course, this one is still less beneficial, as survivors are going to find it more than you. Artists is called Spilled Ink Bottle. Diacrow capacity is reduced to 2. Diacros can no longer be fired through solid objects, however they now damage for one damage state, at whatever range, without needing to first swarm the survivor with crows. I think this could be fun, and an interesting way to restrict artist. Onrios is named Rewind Button. 
After exiting a TV, press the active ability button within 7 seconds to trace your steps back through the TV you just exited and back to your previous position. Doing this causes the blindness effect for 60 seconds, and incapacitated for 5 seconds. This is meant to cause shocking moments where Sadako appears from where she left, with some status effects to even this ability out, and incapacitated stopping the killer from attacking immediately. Dredges is called Horse Piece. During Nightfall, you will now hear Maurice's neighing. Masterminds is called Shattered Sunglasses. After 7 minutes, the exit gates will open, regardless of generator progress. That's it. <laughs> Alright, I hope you enjoyed these ideas, and let me know if there's any you have also down below. Maybe we could do a similar thing for eerie add-ons or something. Okay, bye!